Multi-billion rand investment in the automotive sector. The investment is set to secure jobs and provide skills development opportunities with further job opportunities projected once production starts in 2027. And the new investment is again a vote of confidence in the future of the plant here in, in South Africa. It future proves jobs, not only for our people, but also those employed in our supplier network. Most of the 4 billion rand investment will be allocated to capital expenditures for production facilities, manufacturing tooling, local content tooling and quality assurance. The automotive sector in South Africa is seen as a critical industry for global markets. The transition from internal combustion engines to electric vehicles in Africa will strategically position the continent as a critical role player with much needed mineral resources in Africa. But it will take a little bit longer for that market to fully embrace across the continent uh, electric vehicles because of the infrastructure requirements, because of the uh, continuing price uh, 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 premium for electric vehicles and so on. So we need to look beyond demand, which is typically the big driver of investment decisions. We need to look for additional attractions. And one of those additional attractions is Africa's um, enormous resources of a range of minerals that make up the green transition, minerals that will be required in battery manufacturing in particular, and uh, by having partnerships with big uh, global uh, original equipment manufacturers, the big car assemblers, we are able uh, to, uh, to unlock that opportunity. Over 170 billion rand has been invested in the province over the past four years, and this is just the beginning. This position, uh, our province is very favorable in global terms and standing. This is a major boost of confidence in our country's ability as a host for the new investment. VW is showing leadership role in boosting the, a positive investment climate, especially at this time when the country needs it most. Very good to hear that cabinet is already uh, looking at issues around energy security, issues around logistics and infrastructure, which have been absolutely uh, big challenges for us as a sector because currently more than 66% of the vehicles that we produce in South Africa are exported out of the country. And in order for us to be able to continue to service that export book, we need to be able to address our energy challenges, we need our ports and our rail infrastructure to be um, absolutely up and running in order for us to be able to make sure that we are able to continue to supply. The investment is also said to benefit smaller supplier entities, contributing to over 20,000 jobs. Luando Nomoi, SABC News, Kariha.